We meet again. Thank you so much for all your help. Nabil, what are you doing here? Convicts from the desert are being escorted through Caravan Rebot, so I'm here to keep an eye on things. This should be the last group of them, so I'll be heading back to the Academia once they're cleared. The last few days have been quite the ride, but fortunately, I can say with confidence that this case is finally coming to an end. At first, the mercenary groups on the list were putting up quite a fight. They made several desperate attempts to cover up the truth. However, Sino crossed the desert and took out their main camp overnight. After that, people on the list started to put pressure on the higher-ups within the Academia. Everyone was on edge, and the case came to a standstill. And? Then what happened? Well, then we received word that Taj Rudkani had sacrificed himself on the case. The news really stirred up the members of our ranks. The Matra then moved together against the enemy. We cleared out the traitors from within the Academia, and arrested all the researchers on the list. Some of them managed to get out of the Academia, but still failed to escape. The scattered criminals were captured by Sino all across Sumeru. I even heard that someone was about to escape to Fontaine, but was still apprehended just at the border. Having more than 300 prisoners apprehended for interrogation has definitely shaken things up recently. Is Sino alright? He didn't get injured, did he? He seems fine, but nobody knows the real situation. He brought over 300 suspects to judgment all on his own. Among them were even some of our former colleagues. Not just the criminals are afraid of him. Even we start feeling a little nervous when he's around now. But even if we start feeling all self-conscious, thinking if we've done anything wrong, we're still always honored to have Sino around. By the way, are you guys here to see Sino? I think I just saw him walking in that direction when I was on watch nearby. He was walking with someone I didn't recognize, and then before I knew it, they were nowhere to be seen. If you happen to see him, please send my regards. Sure thing, Nabil. You be careful too. Don't let any of those bad guys escape! Don't worry about me. If anything happens, you can find me at the Academia anytime. Farewell then. Trying to single-handedly bring 300 people to justice must feel pretty exhilarating. But I can assure you this is certainly not the best solution. I'm aware. However, I learned something unexpected during interrogation. Apparently, someone had enticed Mortada Radkani into becoming interested in researching the Court of Desolation. Mortada had lived in his father's shadow all his life. Naturally, he wanted to conduct research that would seem groundbreaking and significant. After Mortada died, the organization tried to use Taja's shame regarding his son to add him to their ranks, toying with others' minds, treating lives like dirt, and doing anything for their own interests. <sighs> this makes me angry. Fine, I understand. This is a type of trap I've been working on which uses plants. Here, take some just in case you need them next time. If thrown into the mud, the trap will grow rapidly and disperse a pollen that has a paralyzing effect. I don't have much use for the traps these days, but maybe you will and can help me collect more testing data. Sino! Tainari! Oh, so Tainari must be Unabi! 
Beel saw earlier. Are you also here to see Sino? That's right. Sino asked me to collect some medicinal herbs to treat a girl named Seemin. I also dropped by just to check for any injuries. He seems to be fine physically, but he looks a little more lonely than I remember. And Sino, relax. You don't always have to look so serious, you know. Why don't you play more Genius Invocation TCG? Kale has always been a little wary of you, and your stern expression certainly isn't helping. How is Kale these days? She's grown a bit taller, but her grades could use some improvement. She still made many mistakes on her last test, even after I had marked all the important content in the book for her. After some time, I plan on having her go outside more. It just so happens that I have something she can help me with. Huh? You mean Kale is leaving Avidia Forest? What happened? I've asked her to host some ad hoc lectures to teach the dangers of canned knowledge, as well as how to use it safely. Although we've apprehended all the criminals behind the recent smuggling case, there are many people who are still curious and seek after canned knowledge. So I decided to ask her to work on increasing knowledge and awareness on the topic. Please be sure to keep an eye on her. I will. If anything else happens, the three of you can find me in the Avidya Forest. Take care. I've already caught those who were preparing to attack you in secret. Even if some criminals did slip through our fingers, they wouldn't know that you were involved in the case. So you can relax. But what about you, Sino? It's still not time for me to rest yet. Those who died have fulfilled their wishes, but those who are alive must continue pressing forward. I've been thinking about what Taj said in the Court of Desolation these last few days. His words were not empty. People do change, and no belief can completely resist the erosion of time. I just hope my own change will come slowly, so that I can press on a little further. That way, those who see me as their superior, and those who are following in my footsteps, will learn courage from my example, just as I gained courage from my own superiors and my partner. I'll be fine. I'm also enjoying my chat with you right now, you know? There are many things I feel better about once I start to talk about them. Many people want to go to the desert to offer condolences for Tosh, but I didn't share details with anyone. I'd prefer to avoid revealing the location of the Court of Desolation. One day, I'll gather some flowers that grow in arid desert conditions. And then, I was hoping you'd join me in planting them on the remains of the Court of Desolation. By the way, something strange happened a few days ago. A merchant approached me and requested that I cover the cost of a desert travel kit. 1,250,000 mora. I didn't remember owing anyone mora, especially not that kind of amount. So I arrested the merchant, on charges of provocation and disturbing the peace. Do you know anything about this? Too slow. 